Hello, Year 5, and welcome to your SPAG lesson. Uh, this week, we're carrying on looking at uh, parentheses. And instead of identifying it this week, we are looking at how we can show it. Um, so we're going to be focusing in particular on using brackets to show parentheses. Um, but first of all, here is your word of the day for today. Your word of the day today is vermin, um, which had it come last week, would have been very useful in our legends, in our retelling of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Um, but vermin are small animals such as rats and mice, which cause problems to humans by carrying disease and damaging crops or food. So your example sentence is vermin were responsible for the spread of the plague. Uh, vermin is a noun. Um, so can you have a go at using the word vermin in a sentence? I've put up um, the page for you to type it into on Teams. So have a go with that. And when you're ready, you can press play again. OK, then. So um, what is the punctuation used to indicate parentheses in this sentence? So the sentence is, I had to wear a coat when I went to the shops. It was absolutely chucking it down. Um, hopefully you were able to spot that brackets have been used there to indicate parentheses. And if I take that parentheses out of that sentence, I had to wear a coat when I went to the shops. That sentence still makes sense. And that's how we can tell whether it's parenthesis or not. If we remove it from the sentence, it should still make sense. Um, so this week we're using brackets to indicate parenthesis. We're going to do a, a quick reminder of what parenthesis is. I'll show you a couple of examples of how we can use brackets to indicate parenthesis. And then it's on to you guys. So parenthesis is when extra information is added in the middle or at the end of a sentence, just like a relative clause. A sentence should still make sense if the parenthesis was taken out. Um, so, for example, my granddad, who is 84, loves to play chess. If I remove that parenthesis, which is shown by commas there, my granddad loves to play chess, still makes sense. I went to Paris, brackets, which is in France, close brackets. If I take that parenthesis out, I went to Paris, still makes sense. Um, parenthesis can be demarcated by commas, dashes, or brackets. And today we're looking in particular at using brackets. Um, and they can come in the middle of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. We need to remember with brackets that there's always an opening bracket and a closing bracket. Um, with the other ones, with a comma and with a dash, sometimes there might only be one if it's at the end of a sentence, but that's not true of brackets. Um, so I've got two example sentences here that have both got parentheses in them, but they haven't been demarcated yet. So can you have a go at writing those sentences down on a whiteboard or wherever you've got them um, and adding in the brackets around the parentheses? So I went to Liverpool Stadium called Anfield to watch a Champions League match. And I can't wait to go to the Turkish restaurant. It has only just opened. Can you have a go at putting those brackets into those sentences to indicate parentheses? OK, so let's have a look and see. Um, so called Anfield is the parenthesis there. If I remove the parenthesis, I went to Liverpool Stadium to watch a Champions League match. That still makes sense as a sentence, which means that I can put brackets around called Anfield because that's the bit that's adding extra information. I can't wait to go to the Turkish restaurant um, brackets. It has only just opened. If I take the parenthesis out, I can't wait to go to the Turkish restaurant. That still makes sense because it's at the end of a sentence. If it was um, indicated with a comma with a dash, it would only need one. But because it's brackets, it needs one at the start and one at the end as well. So that's what your job is going to be. There are six sentences uh, and each one has got at least one bit of missing parenthesis. Some of them have got two. Now, I personally don't normally like that. I think the brackets should only be used probably once per sentence at most. Um, but some of these have got two bits of parenthesis in. So just make sure that you're keeping an eye out for that. So you've got last week, I went to the park with Colin, my friend's dad. The Shard, the tallest building in England, is in the city of London. Mr. Haig, a new teacher at school, played football with us at lunchtime. My favourite subject at school is maths. It's really easy. Jamie, a boy in my class, was the first person to write using a pen. It had black ink. Uh, last week, Mick, my uncle from Devon, came to stay with us for a few days. It was great. So uh, using brackets, can you please have a look at the document on Teams and can you have a go at putting those brackets into the correct place in those sentences? When you've done that, come back to this video and watch for where they should have gone. OK, so let's have a look. So the parenthesis in the first sentence is my friend's dad. Last week I went to the park with Colin, still makes sense by itself. My friend's dad gives us extra information about that. Uh, the Shard, brackets, the tallest building in England, close brackets, is in the city of London. Mr. Haig, open brackets, a new teacher at school, close brackets, played football with us at lunchtime. 
My favourite subject at school is maths, open brackets, it's really easy, close brackets. Jamie, open brackets, avoid my class, close brackets, was the first person to write using a pen, open brackets, it had black ink, close brackets. And last week, Mick, um, open brackets, Michael from Devon, close brackets, came to stay with us for a few days, open brackets, it was great, close brackets. Um, hopefully you were able to have a go at those um, and later on in the week we're going to be continuing to look at using brackets for, for, for parentheses and then throughout this half term we'll be looking at different ways that we can show parentheses.